So BPM is between 90 and 125. And let's start with the main course, bass. Make a MIDI pattern like this. It's a classic stabby synth bass pattern. To make thick and wide bass, we will have three layers. Pick a serum, and yeah, I will mostly use serum for synth stuff in this video. First layer is two standard saw waves, FM from B. Second one's level is at zero. Envelope is similar to plux and connected to filtered cutoff. LFO is connected to sub bass level. The sub is square wave shape and two octaves down. In the FX, we have some dimension, some distortion with soft clip preset, some multiband compression, and EQing in the low mid range. Cutting high and low end with the EQ8 for a nice mid range layer. The second one is just two sawways from the Massive collection, one is one octave down, with a little bit of unison in the first one. You can use wave shapes from standard presets, you don't need to use exactly these ones, just make them different from the first layer. Blocking envelope, connected to cutoff and some level on the noise, and yeah, we add noise here, to add some crispy top on the high end. LFO is connected to the sub layer. FX section is exactly the same, I just took that preset and changed it a little bit from the first layer. Additionally cutting all the low end and most of the mid range, and boosting high mids a little bit. And we have a nice crispy high-end layer. And the third layer is just a simple sub bass, one octave lower, with additional distortion with the tube preset. On the whole group we just have some multiband compression, tweaking mids and lows to your taste, additional glue compressor, some EQ8 to remove harsh high ends a little bit, and a regular compressor for sidechaining the kick, and auto filter just for automation stuff. This is the whole group. Let's talk drums. To add 80s nostalgia vibes, you can use a great free VST drum machine, DR84, which has a bunch of great presets. You might also use some synthwave sample pack sounds. I combined them both. Drum pattern is really simple, you know it. I added some reverb on snares and claps for better sitting in the mix. Hi-hats on two channels divided in stereo with DRVR Pro. Some shakers to fill empty spaces up with additional delay. Symbol for transitioning as well as tom rolls at the end of 8 bar loop. These toms are also from DR84 plugins. You can also play with distortion on your kicks to make them even punchier. And the whole drum group sounds like this. Melody is done in the serum as well, two soul waves from basic shapes, FMing from B, plucky envelope, plucky LFO, connecting to cutoff, band, FM from B, also the fine option here, as well as drive option in distortion and FX section. Adding dimension here as well, with delay on ping pong section, multiband compressor, reverb on the plate option, and just EQing the high end of the sound to make melody brighter. Writing pattern in E minor as well as our bass, and you can automate cutoff for additional wobbly sound, additional magic switch to bring everything to life and it sounds like this. For the second hook we will use a lead in the same scale as Melody, and this one is from one of the Unwave free serum presets. I will leave this channel in the description. In the third hook I used another Unwave serum preset, but additionally changing the base of our lead pattern is spiccato violin from BBC Orchestra with tons of processing like saturation, distortion, another amp distortion from Ableton, supermassive reverb on default preset just for automation, as well as auto filter for automation as well. So the lead sounds like this. and violin with a lot of processing sounds like this. I also added another lead in the background, this one is just standard serum synth preset, big sleepy preset. I added tons of reverb just to have this kind of background atmosphere for the track. Hear how it sounds. And it just has a constant automation slowly building and then falling off throughout the track. As FX, I use down sweeps for transitioning, thunder sounds kinda cheesy but it is what it is, and some tape recording in the background.
and structuring is pretty straightforward. Intro with small pauses to build anticipation, first hook with the main melody, bridge with the thunder sound effect, going into lead introduction, adding it in the second hook, another bridge sweeping with auto filters, adding second lead and the violin to build up to the third hook, and then just outro. On the master channel I have some generic gold fuzz as usual, brightness minus 60% because you know, it's dark synthwave, sooth 2 on side res of X preset, frontier compressor tweaking threshold and output to your taste, and the limiter to add a ceiling to your mix. And that's that's it. I hope you liked it. If you have your own tips for synthwave, comment them down below. Thank you for watching this video. Keep making your own sound and bye.